I've never interviewed anyone who's quite as animated when speaking a, a, as as you are. You and that's part of your, your your performance. You are a very very mobile, energetic figure. Do you ever worry you're going to burn out? Well, I'm going to die. So yes. we're all going to die. <laughs> well, but, so, so but, yes, I yeah. do worry. Yeah, <laughs> but, you, but I mean, death, the inevitability I'm of death. I'm just thinking this Oliver Stone remark that you're burning with a very very high flame and. Mm. Will he be able to keep it up? I don't think that's something I can necessarily control. I mean, if I speak mm. a little more meekly and balance this on my lap, I still think the spectre of death will loom. Yeah. The icy hand will still land upon my shoulder, perhaps, you know, a couple of hours later. But, you know, I don't want to get all Kerouac about it, but it's quite good to but, blaze about. But do you think this can, th that you can continue at this level? I hope not, because I'm utterly bored of it. <laughs> <laughs> I want Are to you? ascend. What yeah, I don't want to be here for much longer. I mean, not towards you. You're lovely and fantastic, but and it's a thrill to talk to you. But I don't want to dwell here with such trivial things for very much longer. You mean you, mean, you, you seek death? No, you don't. Not seek death, death, but between now and death, it would be ever so nice, I think, if I were able to achieve something that was truly valuable, some off evocation of beauty, togetherness, the exposure of the illusion of separation, and some connection between people. Perhaps use this energy some, for something better than something more worthwhile. Messages. One would hope. That's my deepest wish. Do you have any intimation of what it might be? Yes. We're making this documentary currently about on the subject of fame and consumerism and the way that we're sold these ideas and these narratives and the way they keep us dumb and the way that I myself was seduced by it growing up in mm. Essex and thought, oh yes, I, I want to be famous and now mm. I am famous and what does it mean? Ashes in my mouth. So I want to communicate this idea to people that are aspiring to it, culturally specifically wanting to become famous, but also similarly through the purchase of endless brands, the purchase of different ideas, Kerry Katona at Iceland. You know, so I, I sort of momentarily thought when I thought, of, oh, I like Kerry Katona it doesn't matter how much negative publicity she attracts she'll still Iceland will still use it because of the familiarity it's still appealing it's still attractive but and I'm above that culturally because you know I'm above Heat magazine I've read a few books but like you know if Robert if there's two aftershaves on a shelf and one of them's got Robert Downey Jr's face on it that might be an appealing aspect to me so I, I would like to somehow expose in, in myself and explore within myself and culturally the possibility of us aspiring to greater things many have said haven't they Jeremy that the, possi the, the fact that we desire we desire these products that we, des we have these aspirations is an indication that we can still change, that we can still strive, that we have within us a yearning for something higher. Someone told me once that all desire is the, the desire to be at one with God in substitute form. So perhaps we can draw attention not to the shadow on the wall, mm. but to the source of light itself. Do you believe in God? Yes. I'm really surprised. Ah. Do you have any... I mean, have you always believed in him? Do you worship? Do you go to church? What do you do? I, I pray and I meditate. And I try to align my desires with things that are less selfish. And it's an ongoing struggle because of the egotism and the needs in me and stuff. But I'm just trying to be a better person. What do you think we should aim for then? I think that we should try to examine the things that we're using to make us happy. The, the, this pursuit of celebrity, of wealth, of status, this consuming of products, this ignorance towards ecological and economical matters. And try and aspire to something more beautiful something more truthful and honestly I'm not a, like a, as you must have noticed a politician or a theologian but no you're not the messiah either but one would hope it, not no. But like, but there are. But, but I think that there, are, there are some very. I've been spending a lot of time with that uh, David Lynch, you know, the film director. Uh, through transcendental meditation, he says we can access a unifying field of energy from which all creativity comes, be it physical, uh, atomical, or intellectual. Perhaps if we were all in tune with more beautiful things, perhaps we wouldn't prioritise such peculiar, peculiar ideas and notions. And perhaps if these, perhaps if we can popularise through the techniques of branding and consumerism. A different idea, a different narrative, perhaps the world can change. After all, it changes constantly and incessantly. It's just that the perceptions that we have are governed by people with, uh, with self-interest that are not in alignment with the health and safety of us as individuals or as a planet. Blimey. Russell Brown, thanks very That's much. That's the end of my interview. It is. Is that enough? <laughs> That's surely There's enough. so many more things to be said. Uh, we've what barely started on the film. We've not done any offensive language. There's been barely any sexual content. There's no been, been no potentially dangerous behaviour. How long do you want? All night? <laughs> That's, um, I'm going to need more. I've got a lot to say. Where's the bit where you... Where I'm uh, on a pin? <laughs> skewered on a pin in the glare of your intellect. No, I'm not trying to skewer you. I'm just interested because, I mean, the, I'm, 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 I don't know. I think the thing, what we've been talking about is very, very, very interesting. So do I. What, be, and it's about, it's, it's in this kind of terrain between the public validation and the internal validation of, of yourself. And you know, it's the big issue of our time, I think. Yes, yes, I think you're right. Yeah. I think it is. I think that... 
perhaps the investigation of that and the illumination of that can be something I can contribute along with this bureaucratic document. <laughs> Does the programme include a competition? Are you all happy enough? Between Jeremy and yeah, myself. <laughs> audience voting. Oh, yes, I'd like the audience to vote in some way if they could. Complaints. Is there going to be a complaint? Yes, I'd like to complain. I need longer. I've barely articulated a thing. I've fully listened to this programme. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean... That's all your fault. I was just trying to be funny. I just <laughs> wanted to make people laugh. That's all I've ever wanted is to make people laugh.